Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making stuffing bowls. Okay, I'm starting out here in a skillet that I melted a stick of butter. And I have two stalks of celery and one medium onion I diced up. I'm going to get them in here and I'm going to saute them until they're translucent and soft. Okay, while my celery and onion sautés over there and get soft, in a large bowl I have one loaf of white bread that I just diced up into little cubes. I'm going to season this up. You want to make sure you season it really well. I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of salt because once you get these rolled in the balls uh, you can't see the inside. I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of pepper and then after I get the seasonings in here I'll go ahead and toss these with my hand to get a, the spices mixed through nice and well. Okay, I have some poultry seasoning here. I'm going to go ahead and put in about a healthy teaspoon of that. Might be a hair over, but that's fine. I have some parsley here. I'm going to put on about a half a teaspoon of that. And this is mostly for uh, color. Even though we're putting on onion and celery in, I'm going to put in some uh, onion powder. About a teaspoon of that. A teaspoon of garlic powder. And like I said, guys, you want to season these well. And lastly, I should have got this out, I'm going to add in some celery seed. Because even though I have celery in there, celery seed has a more intense flavor and this will help season them. About a half a teaspoon of celery seed. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get in here with my hands. And without trying to make a mess, I'm going to blend the seasoning together in here. Okay, now that I have my seasonings all tossed through the breadcrumbs and my celery and onions are done sauteing, I'm going to dump everything in the bowl here and I'm going to allow this to cool just for a minute so I can handle it better. Okay, now I have a ten and a half ounce can of cream of chicken soup. I'm not going to put all of this in here. I'm just going to put some until it looks like it's the right consistency. Because you want these to be moist enough that they're going to bind together when you roll them up. But you don't want to mush where they're not going to stay together. So I went and added half a can in there. I'm looking this over and my celery and onions are still hot so try to be careful not to burn myself. I'm going to add more in. I think I'm going to go ahead and add the whole can in. And like I said this is a ten and a half ounce can of soup with one loaf of bread. An average family size loaf of white sliced bread. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this all in here. And let stuff cool down just a bit here so I don't burn my hands when I go to roll these. Okay, now in a large cookie sheet I sprayed with some oil, cooking spray. I have my uh, bread mixture over here off of camera because my stove's too hot to sit on next to the pan. I'm going to roll this up in balls about this size, a little larger than a golf ball. And I'm just going to fill my pan up with them. And as you can see, these are binding together nicely. And that chicken, cream of chicken soup, that'll help keep them moist inside so they don't dry out. I'm going to go ahead and finish rolling up all of my stuffing balls and when my pan's full I'll be back. Okay now that I have my stuffing balls all rolled out and I got 18 of them there, they're nice sized. I'm going to put them in a 400 degree oven until they're golden brown. I'm assuming probably 10 or 15 minutes and then we'll get them out. Alright my stuffing balls are done. They took roughly about 15 minutes. They're golden brown and ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. I also made some Italian chicken and some French cut green beans to go along with this. I'm going to finish the uh, stuffing balls off by topping them with a little bit of chicken gravy. You could also use turkey gravy if you like. Okay, there you have it. Stuffing balls. Give this a try. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see ya.